tree of heaven, Alanthus altissima, commonly referred to as Alanthus, is a rapidly growing, invasive tree found across much of the United States. It aggressively reproduces by wind dispersed seeds. Female trees can produce more than 300,000 annually. Once established, trees spread by root sprouts that can extend up to 50 feet away from the parent tree. Root sprouts as young as two years of age can produce seeds. Due to its extensive spreading root system and root suckering ability, Tree of Heaven is difficult to control. However, if you follow the guidelines outlined here and are persistent, you can successfully eradicate it. Mechanical methods such as cutting or mowing are ineffective at controlling Tree of Heaven. In fact, cutting trees can make the situation worse as trees respond by sending up dozens of stump sprouts and root suckers. Hand pulling young Tree of Heaven seedlings when the soil is moist can be effective. However, it is often impractical to do so. Here you see hundreds of seedlings that germinated in a small area. For hand pulling to be effective, you must remove the entire root system. Even small root fragments can generate new shoots. Be aware that seedlings are easily confused with root suckers, which are nearly impossible to pull by hand. To control Tree of Heaven, you must control the root system. The most effective way to do this is by applying a systemic herbicide at the optimum time of year. Systemic herbicides must move through the tree's vascular system to the roots to be effective. Therefore, you need to apply the herbicide when the tree is moving sugars produced through photosynthesis down to the roots. This is best accomplished in mid to late summer, July through September. If you apply systemic herbicides to Tree of Heaven outside of this optimum time of year, you will injure above ground growth, but you will not effectively control the roots. In other words, the foliage may die, but the roots will remain intact. This is also why treated Tree of Heaven stumps with herbicides is not effective. When you remove the top of the tree, you are removing the mechanism that moves the herbicide downward so the herbicide cannot effectively control the roots. Stump treatment of Tree of Heaven will keep the stump from resprouting, but it will not prevent root suckering. Before removing Tree of Heaven, treat them with a herbicide first. Allow 30 days for it to take effect and then cut the tree. There are many herbicides effective at controlling Tree of Heaven. For most treatments, we recommend using herbicides containing the active ingredients glyphosate or triclopyr. For up-to-date herbicide recommendations, refer to the Penn State Extension website. Always follow the herbicide label instructions for rates, application methods, and personal protection. There are three herbicide application methods effective at controlling Tree of Heaven, foliar, basal bark, and hack and squirt. If trees are small and you can spray the leaves without contacting nearby desirable plants, you can use the foliar application method. Foliar sprays are also good for initial treatment of dense or extensive infestations to eliminate small, low growth. Then follow up with a basal bark or hack and squirt application on remaining larger stems. A mixture containing glyphosate and triclopyr is best for foliar treatments of Tree of Heaven. You can apply foliar treatments using a low volume backpack sprayer as shown here or with high volume truck mounted sprayers. The basal bark application method is suitable for trees up to 6 inches in diameter. The trees shown here are good candidates for this method. This method is very selective so you can target Tree of Heaven without harming nearby plants. Use a low volume backpack sprayer containing a concentrated mixture of triclopyr ester and basil oil. Apply the herbicide solution from the ground line to a height of 12 to 18 inches completely around the stem. It's important that you treat completely around the stem so that the herbicide intercepts the complete vascular system to the roots. The hack and squirt application method is another highly selective alternative for treating Tree of Heaven. You can use it for trees one inch in diameter and larger. To use this method, space downward angle cuts or hacks evenly around the circumference of the tree and apply herbicide solution to the cuts. You can use formulations of either glyphosate or triclopyr amine. By intentionally leaving uncut tissue between the hacks, you provide open pathways for the herbicide to move to the roots. Use a hatchet with a narrow blade to make the cuts in the tree. 
To create a more effective hack and squirt tool, you can modify a regular hatchet by grinding down the blade so that it's no more than two inches wide. This modified hatchet would create a narrow cut to better hold the herbicide. The rule of thumb for hack and squirt applications is to make one cut per inch of tree diameter with a minimum of two on small stems. For a six inch diameter tree, make six cuts evenly spaced around the circumference of the tree with intact bark left between each. Then fill each cut with herbicide solution. Again, be sure to apply herbicide treatments in mid to late summer to maximize herbicide movement to roots. After the initial treatment, monitor the site for signs of, of regrowth and retreat as necessary. Initial treatments often only reduce the root systems, making follow-up measures essential. This is critical to prevent reinfestation. Well-established Tree of Heaven stands are only eliminated through repeated efforts. Persistence is the key to success.